Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you my microphone from Rode SVM N3594. And this is a shock microphone as you can see here. And uh, it's uh, have a rubber band that you need to connect in a cross. And uh, then it's have a shock as it's called. Microphone shock mount. And then you can use it uh, on your camera with this part but the guy that I bought it from I got it very cheap he didn't use it for a long time the rubber band get dry and they broke and I got it and I first try to use a rubber band you know like the kids make some necklace and stuff like that it's also got dry and it's not was good so I was thinking to buy one but then I didn't find where to buy so then I use a little help with my 3D printer and I 3D print a parts a few months ago for this. I'm going to show you the first parts that I print and then I'll show you the second part that I print which is much better. So I design myself these two pieces here as you can see and they basically you put them on just like that. You open it it's flexi and you put it on two of them and then you put this on like this inside the holes so that's hold very very well but it's not shock observer so it's not use the full potential of this microphone so I use it for some time two months or so and then I decide to 3D print a shock mount for this microphone not using this part so I just move it on the side and the part is look like this and this is made of basically four parts two sides part parts and one a piece on the bottom, one piece on the middle and basically what you're supposed to do is to use a two-sided glue tape put it on and then it's supposed to hold but I didn't stop there and I designed the frame that you see right here and this frame is supposed to hold the microphone in place so it's very simple to install it all you have to do put it like this and then you use a screw as I have right here and you lock it together basically you mount it like this it's supposed to be hold it tight in place and you need to be able to open it because you need to change the battery from time to time on the top and basically when you have it like this now this is a shock mount as you can see it's move left to right you mount it on your camera and then you can take it back and forth if you will and also use this so-called dead cut you can use it also on so that's very very nice and simple it's supposed to be soft not 100% uh, infill when you print it because then it's not going to be so flexy so now this is flexy and the reason that I have this part in red and the rest in grey I did print it in grey with a new 3D printer that I got yesterday which I'm going to make review very soon but I something went wrong and it's going to be like very stiff so when I open this and try to put the microphone in it just snap on so I'm not sure if it's the printer or something in the setting but this I print with another printer and it's very flexy you open it and then you put it on lock it then you have a shock mount looks very very nice I think very simple to print four hours wake up in the morning it was ready for me so just remember to put the screw on a piece under because here you can either 3d print a cold shoe or you can find something to screw under so I use a screw inside here that I can connect this together and then I can lock it on the top of the camera so it's not going to fall very simple shock mount for the Rode microphone SVM N3594 
594 I hope you like this ID you like this video all the files in the description below so you can download and print it for yourself so I hope to see you very very soon in my next video until then thank you very much for watching bye bye